I want to tell you all of it. But are you sure that Chloe should be here for... Chloe stays. Of course. In every way that matters, Rose is my wife and your mother. But the woman you saw at the Overlook, her name is Sarah, your birth mother. I'm going to tell you everything, Rachel. Everything I've shielded you from for so long. But the truth can be hard to look at. Is this really something you're ready for? Chloe. I'm right here. Good. I need you. I was in high school, there was one person everyone adored. Her teachers, her friends. Sarah was everyone's favorite. Every boy wanted to date her. I could barely believe it when she picked me. Sometimes, I think that's what kept me blind for so long. She was so alive, so passionate about everything. Early on, though, I realized I wasn't enough for her. While the rest of us were pursuing college, careers, families, Sarah wasn't looking for any of that. She was looking for escape. When Sarah became pregnant, I thought it would solve everything. And it did. For a little while. Becoming your father was the greatest moment of my life. There was so much love, but I was still blind. However much she loved you then, it wasn't enough. For Sarah, the need to escape was always there. For over a year, I tried to help her. I made myself believe that she was still a good person. That no matter what happened, she would never do anything to hurt you. I was wrong. Eventually, I saw her for who she really was. A destructive person. Someone who could never be satisfied. Anyone anything, even the love of her own daughter. I was desperate. 
I didn't know what to do. <laughs> so I made a choice. I was never going to let her harm you again. What you saw at the Overlook, Rachel, it was true, we kissed. It was the saddest kiss of my life. It was a kiss goodbye. I told her that I was happy for her, that she felt like she'd gotten her life together, finally. But she didn't get to just decide one day to be a mother. Not after what she'd done. But after all the people she hurt. All the lives she destroyed. I told her she'd been given the greatest gift in the world. The chance to be your mother. And she squandered it. It pained me to hurt her like that. But I'd do it again, and again, and again, to keep you safe. So that was the first time you've seen her or spoken with her in 15 years? No. I send her money. Every single month. It's our arrangement. But now she wants to see me? Yes. But Rachel, it cannot be. Why not, if that's what Rachel wants? Drug addiction is a disease. It afflicts everyone, not just the addict. I will not allow you to be victimized by her disease again. Even if that's true, Rachel could still meet her. And maybe the, the fact that she wants to see me means she's gotten better. Maybe so. But consider that for 15 years, she's preferred that money to you. Rachel. I think I need to lie down. I can't leave Rachel to deal with this alone.
The Tempest show feels so far away now. This is so painful to look at. I wonder what James is thinking right now. <sighs> um, this must be hard for you too, Master Amber. It could be far worse. My biggest fear is that Rachel will try to meet Sarah. <laughs> I've dreaded it. So that's why you never told her? <sighs> you have no idea what pain Sarah's caused. Her addiction has led her to do terrible things. I don't want Rachel to go through any of that. I, I don't understand. Are you afraid that Sarah would do something to Rachel? I don't think she would deliberately harm anyone. But addicts can cause tremendous harm without meaning to. Yeah, but Rachel's not a baby Listen anymore. Listen to me. Sarah brought criminals and drug dealers into our home. She put Rachel in serious danger just to chase her habit. Do you think Sarah is involved with any of the drug dealers around here? It wouldn't surprise me if she were. That's who she is. Chloe. I believe Rachel trusts you more than anyone else right now. Is this where you ask me to manipulate Rachel into doing what you want? This is where I ask you to do as your conscience dictates. But please, put my daughter's safety first. That is something I will always do. She's so young. You are too. But I know you've experienced loss. Protect her from that. Please. I'll do what I can. I care about her too, you know? I know. Thank you. I can't even imagine how she must be feeling. Hey, Mrs. Amber. I think it's Rose at this point, considering everything. Okay, Rose. Do you need any help with anything? That's very kind of you. Could you get out the broom for me? It's in the breezeway door to the left of the fridge. Hey, cool graphic. Rachel was really getting rid of this? Were you able to find the broom? Um, here you go. Thank you. I'm really quite glad that you're here. I'm glad, too. You've had to cope with much worse, I know. I'm grateful Rachel has someone as strong as you. How are you doing, Chloe? How am I doing? Your generation loves to talk about how awkward different things are. Well, this must be pretty awkward, I'd imagine. It's fine. 
Rachel's the one who's really upset. She has every reason to be. There are many painful things about Rachel's past, including my own role in hiding the truth. Sarah shouldn't have taken money over seeing her daughter. You know, I am so thankful to her that she did. It gave me the opportunity to be Rachel's mother. I never knew how much I could love someone until I had Rachel. But hearing the truth after all these years hurt Rachel more than anything. I'm not happy with James for the whole way this came out. You're not happy with James? What about what he did at the Overlook? It might be hard for you to understand, but after 13 years of marriage, I'm not threatened by what happened. You're right. I don't understand. You don't have to worry about me. Or James. Rachel's the one who needs you right now. Do you think Sarah is dangerous? I've never met her, so I don't know. But I'm inclined to trust my husband. His entire life is about keeping people safe. Rachel's extremely fortunate to have him as her father. <sighs> Thanks. Thank you, Chloe. Holy shit. Rachel completely destroyed that table. Uh, Rachel? I need some way to show Rachel that I'm here for her. Rachel has so many inspirations, she can barely keep them all contained. Rachel even knows how to make a dinky lamp look cool. Rachel's surrounded by so much love, yet she seems so uh, alone. Makes sense that Rachel needs two signs to contain her awesomeness. I shall call her Lion Crab from now on. light.
The yin and badass yang of Rachel Amber. We were so close to making our break last night. Now, I don't know. Is there a section on how to walk fours through batshit crazy family drama? No? May you always be safe. <laughs> sure. But from who? Rachel might not survive her family, but at least she'll survive the zombie apocalypse. Hard to believe the show was only a few hours ago. Seems like everything has changed since then. Rachel's always made being an A student seem so easy. Almost sad to see all this effort. I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird. I know something Miss Arcadia doesn't. Weird. Even you, Willie, couldn't come up with the tragedy Rachel's going through. Rachel's really into stars. I wonder if it's her way of feeling connected. I can't imagine what Rachel is thinking right now. I want her to tell me when she's ready. I bet Rachel would rather be anywhere but here. I've heard that Rachel and Nathan hang out sometimes, but it still seems hard to believe. Maybe I can make the world a less scary place. On stage, I think Rachel said, Rachel was incredible as Prospera. <laughs> I won't forget a second of it. <laughs> At least she'll have something from tonight. I could get grades like this. I just don't want to. <sighs> this light needs more light.
Wonder what I could find around here to brighten up that nightlight. Ready for Rachel's light show. Better get her attention first. Wish there was some way to make this brighter. Hey, check it out. It's beautiful. I thought you might like it. I've always loved stars. Why? They remind us there's so much beauty out there, which we almost never see. Sometimes we see it. But then I learned the truth. The stars we're seeing have already been dead for millions of years. They're all <laughs> lies. But that doesn't make them any less beautiful, right? I don't know. If they're not even real, then what's the point? It's all lies. Everything. My entire life. My dad. My mom. If I can even call her that anymore. And that other woman, my real mom, she's the biggest lie of all. I can't trust any of them. I think you're the only one in the world I can trust. Take it, even if it's only by process of elimination. <laughs> Good. I wore this bracelet my entire life. I never even asked why, never even thought about it. <laughs> Somehow, I think I always knew. Even when I didn't know. <laughs> that my real mother was gone.
the fact that she's here right now. That she came here. For me. I think I need to see her. Is that wrong? Honestly, I have no idea what's right or wrong in this situation. I just know that whatever you decide, I'm in. But what if we can't find her? It's not like I can ask my dad. I have no idea where to start. Let me handle it. Really? Really. <laughs> Mysterious. I like it. Of course, even if we know where she is, we need a way to get to her. I can't just ask my parents for a ride. Don't worry. I've got that one covered, too. You do? Yep. In fact, anything you could come up with, I'll handle it. It's just like I told that biker dude at the mill, who was a lot scarier than this mom of yours could ever be. There could be flamethrowers, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash between you and her. And I would still find a way to get you there. <laughs> Chloe fucking Price. My magical Shakespeare fairy. Shut up. <laughs> but once we find her, I... how do I talk to her? What do I say? After my dad died, I was worried I wouldn't know how to talk to him anymore. But somehow, when we speak, I always know what to say. When you speak? In my dreams. He's there. It's so real. It's almost like it's another part of my life. It used to be the only part that mattered. I've never told anyone about that. Weird, huh? Uh, Rachel? I was just thinking. Maybe I was wrong before. <laughs> Who cares if the stars are dead? As long as we can still see them, that means they're real. To us. Right? Right. Dad, I think we're stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? 
Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. We never... That wasn't... you. Hmm. Could have sworn that was me. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? What's wrong? Don't you see anything? Fine. It's... the spark plug. No, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. K Ra Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's, it's all just theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Something about the whole world being a stage, so might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a... Bit of stage magic. Floodlights. Sound effects. Chloe. Look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Okay, I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. I've got to get this exactly right. I can do this. Price. Oh, Frank. <laughs> Eager much? Jeez, would you relax? I have it with me, okay? I'm coming to get it right now. I have a favor to ask you. You can't be fucking serious. I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. F 
Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? I'm trying to help a friend. It would mean a whole lot to her. The girl with you at the mill? <sighs> yeah. Me in the junkyard in two hours. And bring the fucking money. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real... <sighs> that went well, I guess. What am I getting myself into? Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. 